SteamOS is an Arch-based Linux distribution, but how do other lesser-known distributions like Garuda Linux or Cache OS compare to Windows? In this video, I'll have a look at the GPU performance by testing some single-player games at 1440p and 4K using high custom settings without upscaling. After, I'll move to some competitive games where I'll add 1080p and 1440p and finish with some CPU performance benchmarks. Both of these Arch-based distributions are rolling releases. I choose these two distributions because both are gaming-oriented, meaning that they offer an easy way to install everything that is needed to start playing and have performance tweaks due to kernel optimizations made by their maintainers. I'll split this video in sections so that it will be easier for you guys to check the part that you are most interested in. Before we move forward, let me mention that the CPU is tweaked by enabling PBO to gain an extra 200 MHz with a scalar set to 8 and the curve optimizer set to minus 20 for all cores. The memory kit timings are tweaked. I'm still searching for better timings but don't have the time right now to focus on this. The GPU used for testing is the Sapphire Pulse 7900 XTX with everything set to stock. When it comes to Cache OS, this is the kernel version and some minor info regarding the operating system. I want to mention that I used the gaming meta package for these tests. The kernel used is the default one. Moving on to Garuda Linux, what I did is install the gaming bundle. This will install runners, some translation layers, and to be honest, I'm not sure if there are some performance tweaks that come with this. If someone knows, let me know in the comment section below. On the screen now, we have the OS information. Another thing to point out is that G-Overlay was set to 255 milliseconds polling as MSI Afterburner is set in Windows. In Windows, I used the latest AMD drivers that were available at the time of the recording. I used the minimal installation, disable core isolation, Windows updates, and telemetry. The Windows version that I'm using is one from early October 2024 and to be honest, if I don't apply any updates, the performance is better. The benchmark runs are between 40 and 50 seconds long. This applies to internal benchmarks as well. The graphic settings will be shown before each side-by-side -side run and are the same for 1440p and 4K. Now, let's move to the side-by-side -side runs for the GPU benchmarks, first without ray tracing. I can't live in these pajamas the rest of my life.
For those that are color blind, the first bar contains the 1% low and average values. For Cache OS, the second bar, the ones for Garuda Linux, while the last one for Windows 11. Looking at the 1440p results without ray tracing, Windows enjoys a big lead in Total War Pharaoh with 115 frames per second, while the two arch distros manage to achieve 88 frames per second. Windows is matched or beaten in the other games. A noticeable performance difference is observed in Ratchet & Clank where Garuda Linux has a minor performance advantage over Cache OS where it manages to deliver 25 frames per second more than Microsoft's OS. Noticeable mentions where both Arch distros deliver a bit more performance are Black Myth Wukong Age of Mythology and Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. I consider a difference of around 3 frames per second a tie. Increasing the resolution to 4K, Cache OS and Garuda enjoy big performance leads in Age of Mythology Retold and Ratchet and Clank, while Windows wins again in Total War Pharaoh. Minor performance swings can be observed in Final Fantasy 16, where Windows leads a bit, while in Life is Strange, Warhammer 40K and Black Myth Wukong, both distros fight back and deliver wins. Looking at the overall results, Garuda seems to have a slight edge in performance over Cache OS, but not a big one, with Windows being last, although the difference is small. Before diving in the side-by-side -side runs, I want to mention that I tried the AMD closed source drivers and the performance difference in Indiana Jones was minimal with an average of 8 frames per second more over the community open source drivers, that is, the MESA drivers. The open source drivers deliver better 1% and 0.1% low values. I will do a more thorough comparison in a future video, where I will have a look at these drivers and see where each one excels. Now let's move to the side-by-side -side runs with ray tracing enabled.
What stands out is that in the games where I used path tracing, those are Alan Wake 2 and Black Myth Wukong, Windows has the upper hand. It's still not clear to me if Indiana Jones has path tracing on AMD hardware, but Windows enjoys a 20 frames per second victory over both Arch distros. It seems that the open source drivers have improved a lot when we enable RT, as it performs on par in Ratchet and Clank, Stalker 2, and Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Cache OS may have some driver optimization for ray tracing, as it does a bit better than Garuda. As you can be seen in this chart, Windows 11 leads when we enable ray tracing. It is true that in some games Linux is on par with Windows, but there is still room to improve as both distros trail Windows, especially in games where path tracing is used. In this chart we can see the performance loss when moving from pure raster to ray tracing. As expected, the performance loss is bigger in Linux than in Windows. Moving on to competitive games. I tested only three competitive games, Counter-Strike 2, The Finals and Marvel Rivals. From these three, only Counter-Strike 2 can be played native, without using any translation layer. And as you can be seen on the screen, there is a performance penalty when using Proton, the translation layer. Just imagine how well the other games would have run if those were available native in Linux. Looking at the 1080p chart, we can see that Garuda Linux has a minor advantage over Cache OS. Sure, it's not big, but it's there. Windows suffer multiple defeats, especially in the finals where the average frame rate is below the 1% low value when using Garuda Linux. I made sure that the results are correct by triple checking. I'm not sure why there is such a big gap. The performance lead narrows in Marvel Rivals though. One thing to mention is that in Linux you don't have anti-lag 2 available, at least with the open source drivers. Increasing the resolution to 1440p but keeping the same graphic settings, the playing field is more or less leveled except yet again the finals. In one run in Garuda I had a spike and because of that the 1% low value is lower as opposed to the other operating systems. Garuda Linux seems to fare better in these low graphic settings scenarios where the CPU matters more. It seems that the kernel optimization that the maintainers did is working. Building on top of the competitive game's results, let's move forward to some synthetic benchmarks and see which operating system performs better. I'm gonna focus on the CPU results of Geekbench 6 benchmarks, mainly the single and multi-core scores. I run the benchmark two times on each operating system and the averages are as follows. Windows obtain an average single core score of 3475.5 and a multi-core score of 20044. Garuda Linux managed an average a single score value of 3649 and a multi-core score value of 21259. 
Cash OS managed an every single score of 3651 and a multi-core score of 21340. I would argue that both Arch distros are more or less on the same performance level while Windows falls behind. Let's now move to Blender Magmark where Windows achieved an average score of 344.89, Garuda Linux achieved the best score 429.25, while Cache OS followed closely with an average of 427.3. Looking at these results and the 1080p low settings values used in the freed competitive games, we can deduct that the CPU optimization that Linux employs, especially on these two Arch distros, seems to put Windows in its place. To me, Linux feels smoother and now I have the results to show that. And there you go, a comparison between Garuda Linux and Cache OS alongside Windows 11. I'm impressed with Garuda Linux, especially their kernel optimization. The people behind this distribution managed to deliver a great distro, although Cache OS is in the same league. Both distributions fare better than Windows, especially in CPU intensive workloads. Microsoft and AMD need to sit down and optimize the Windows scheduler as it trails Linux quite bad. Simply put, Linux can squeeze more performance out of your CPU. When it comes to gaming, both distros fare a bit better in raster games than Windows, but lose performance when enabling ray tracing. Let's hope that the performance gap will improve as some games already require ray tracing hardware to run. With that said, in Linux you can use open source drivers and AMD provided drivers, a topic that I barely touch in this video. This will require more investigation in order to see the exact performance gap, but at least you have an idea of the performance gap when using the open source drivers that each distribution come with. If you found the video helpful, drop a comment below in order to help with the YouTube algorithm, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.